Yo, 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 welcome back to another edition of Neon Trash. I'm your host, Tommy the Hammer. Tonight is Saturday night, and I'm about to check out Rob Zombie's latest flick, Three From Hell. Now this is the third film in his House of a Thousand Corpses series. I was a huge fan of that original film, and I like The Devil's Rejects a lot as well. Rob Zombie is an amazing director and an awesome musician. I've always been a fan of his work, and I think he has a good sense of style in all of his horror movies. His last film, 31, I thought was underrated and top notch. It's definitely definitive Rob Zombie. So I'm hoping Three From Hell definitely keeps that theme rolling. I can't wait to check this out. You guys get to peep that trailer, take a look, see at that, and when we get back, you're gonna know my opinion on Three From Hell. The search for the fugitives known as the Devil's Rejects resulted in a violent clash with police. Chances for survival are less than a million to one. There's no justice in this world. I am justice. They're trying to blame us, but we didn't do it. Free the three. 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 <laughs> now we can have a real day of the dead. <laughs> Any last words? Uh, I still want a party. I'm just a clown dancing for the sins of mankind. Did I just call you? <laughs> this is my death factory. And you are the product. I love it. I gotta say, I really liked this latest offering from director Rob Zombie. I feel like he took everything that he learned as a director from, you know, the Lords of Salem and 31 and kind of applied it to Three From Hell. This movie is definitely um, kind of an indie effort, a labor of love, as it were. And you can kind of tell that this film is definitely kind of a low budget modern day exploitation film but it's done right everything about this movie is handled with like a lot of love and care of the genre from the way it's filmed to the special effects to the dialogue to the actors to the use of music on screen everything about three from hell just screams exploitation cinema 1980s and that's another cool thing about this movie is it follows the other films, you know, House of a Thousand Corpses, The Devil's Rejects, and now Three from Hell. It really feels like, you know, they're all part of a greater sum. And the fact that this movie takes place in the 1980s um, really kind of speaks to me. I love the overall visual execution that, you know, is going on in this film here. In terms of the overall plot, I feel like this is Rob Zombie trying to make a spaghetti western of sorts. I know that sounds kind of strange, but this movie is definitely gun-centric, and uh, you know, there's a lot of insane and kind of creative characters. There's moments where, you know, Rob Zombie really builds some genuine tension, and you know, I can appreciate that. Watching a movie like Three From Hell in 2020 is kind of a breath of fresh air. It doesn't feel processed and stagnant like a lot of modern day Hollywood horror movies feel. So if you grew up with things like 
Texas Chainsaw Massacre and The Hills Have Eyes, things of that nature, then you're definitely going to want to check out Three From Hell. So out of 10 stars, this isn't my favorite Rob Zombie movie, but I think this is a strong effort and a strong addition to an already prolific horror movie series. So out of 10 stars, I could give Three From Hell a solid 7 out of 10.